Romans 5 says that we glory in our tribulations, knowing that our tribulations work with patience, and patience work with experience, and experience hope, and hope maketh us not ashamed, but because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit given unto us. Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm out at the lake today. I decided after work to go for a walk instead of going into the gym. I figured it was nice outside, so I came to this lake. Um, and I don't know, I just I was taking pictures and my mind was just going. And I figured I'd just pull out my camera and share with you guys um, something that's been on my heart lately something that I have experienced lately and something that I can honestly say I've experienced pretty much all my life and that would be rejection um, just feeling left out feeling not included um, just feeling not considered um, overlooked just not a good feeling and, you know there was just you know as I'm I'm thinking about this feeling and I feel like the older that I the older that I get I I think more about certain things that happen in my life and I'm I'm seeking more of the purpose behind things that happen in my life I don't want just you know the things that happen in my life to be something I don't learn from something I don't dissipate you know they remain there and they pile up as like tangible things and it's not you know good it doesn't come out in a good healthy or positive way so I would suggest you know that you journal I journal write down your feelings find a safe outlet someone perhaps that you can talk to some people write songs and write poetry find a safe outlet where you can express what you're feeling um, again a safe outlet safe person that you can trust will keep what you feel and be able to empathize and sympathize um, with what you're feeling and how you're feeling. The second thing that has helped me is finding like-minded people and being around people who share the same interests and common um, likes as you and common goals as you. Um, there's a scripture in the Bible, I believe it's in Mark, where Jesus is in a house and he's teaching and there's someone at the door comes and he says, Jesus, your mother and your father, your, bro your mother and your brother, I'm sorry, your mother and your brother's at the door, you know, and Jesus responds to them and he said, who is my mother and who is my brother? But him that do the will of the Lord, him that does the will of him that sent him, he that does the will of him, which is God that sent him. And when I think about that, it's just such a powerful, powerful, powerful text because it shows us that sometimes the people who share the same blood that we have running through our veins are not always necessarily the people who's going to have our best interests at heart. And there will be times that we'll come across people who could be absolute strangers and we'll share more of a common ground and common goal and common interest with them than we do our own family. So I say that to say, you know, surround yourself with people who are like-minded. As you. And if I could leave you with one thing, it would be um, this. When you experience rejection, pain, sometimes you feel anger. And I want to say, know that the pain that you feel can be overcome. I know it's a cliche when they say that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. But there's a scripture in Romans 
Romans 5 says that we glory in our tribulations, knowing that our tribulation worketh patience, and patience worketh experience, and experience hope, and hope maketh us not ashamed, but because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit given unto us. Know that whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Know that for everything that you go through, every form of rejection, for every person that may have rejected you, for every position that you may not have received. Do you know that a lot of times when those things happen, more times than none, we do what we have to do. We find ourselves pushing harder to be better at those things, just so that the next time we're given those opportunities, we're able to succeed. You ever go for a job and you didn't get it? Oh my God, boy, are you studying the next time? Boy, are you doing more research on that position? And you're thinking about the answers that could be asked of you so that the next time job opportunity you're able to be more prepared at it know that for everything every form of rejection for every crowd that you didn't fit in for every time that you were the last one chosen for every time that you weren't even considered for the position know that God is using those times to build up character in you know that God is using those times to build you up and build up your inner man because they are treasures that are hitting on the inside of you and sometimes it takes tribulation sometimes it takes a little chiseling sometimes it takes the fire just to get out of you all that God has put inside of you I pray that this um, short lesson has blessed you and has um, encouraged you to live on another day I hope you have a great and wonderful day you guys stay blessed Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure you are subscribed because I've got some exciting content lined up. I love you guys so, so much and thank you for coming along on this journey with me.